Alright guys, I'm live streaming this right now, so please say hi to the world, Vancouver. I gotta tell you guys, it's really, really awesome to see so many like-minded people in one place that these many people have not been brainwashed by the television. You guys are clearly not watching too much TV. Have you guys noticed that it's become incredibly easy these days to tell who is watching too much television just by simply looking around? Isn't that incredible? Well, now we have this kind of a turnout, but it, all, it wasn't always like this, guys. When me and my wife went to the first lockdown rally, I think it was back in April or in the spring, uh, I put out a little tweet and it went viral, and we were laughed at. We were, I was mocked in the media. I had people trying to fight me in parking lots. Vancouver's own Seth Rogen chimed in and said, Go home, you effing idiot. Well, I think that's when we look back on who the real idiot is, right, folks? So we have to fight for our uh, uh, freedoms right now, and a lot of people are, are be, have been saying to me in the lead-up to this rally, Well, we're, we are free. What are you talking about? This is Canada. This is Vancouver. Why are you guys doing this? Well, it wasn't that long ago, guys. I don't know if you guys saw this, but a, a month or two ago, I was covering a Black Lives Matter rally. Did you guys catch that? I was surrounded by uh, some BLM and Antifa members, and I was assaulted. And the Vancouver Police Department ended up arresting me over that. Does that sound like freedom? No, it's not. It's not, guys. And we have to push towards more freedom. But my message today is... We cannot look to the government to solve the problems that are being created by the government, okay? When we, we go, we got to stop listening to the, to the health officials. You know, they want us to, as Laura Lynn said, have sex with a mask on. You know, hold your own baby six feet away from you when, when, when you can. I mean, it's absolutely insane. So we just have to disassociate ourselves. So my message today, guys, is if you want to deal with this problem, first turn off the TV, and then second... Just don't comply anymore. Non-compliance is the key moving forward, guys. They want to put some mandatory masks on you? No thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Walk away. They want to put some mandatory vaccine? Thanks, but no thanks. I'll choose to say no and walk away. They want a digital ID? Thanks, but no thanks, guys. We cannot continue to comply with this because the beauty part of this whole thing is we actually make up the base of this pyramidal structure of power. And that has them terrified. Yeah. If enough of us realize that fact, and we start to step outside of this system, what happens, guys, when you remove the lower brick of a pyramid? The entire thing comes crumbling down, right? Yeah. So that's where we're at today, guys. It's time for non-compliance. We can no longer go along with this government that is forcing us down this road. The way to do that is to take it upon yourself, take the responsibility uh, upon your own individual lives to, uh, to, to no longer comply with the government. And as I said, when we do that, when we step outside of this pyramidal system of control, the whole thing's going to come crashing down and it's going to be a beautiful day when it, when it does. Thanks so much, everybody. We all want truth. set you free, free, free.